everyone i wanted to let you know i'm still around life has been very crazy the last couple of month and a half well since memorial day i just uploaded a video showing you my bathroom is 99 percent done there's just a couple little things to do and i had been down here for it down here you guys don't know where down here is to see my parents and my kids for a week had to run back home for a week and now I'm back at my parents house my dad just had a pretty big surgery so I'm staying here as long as it takes until he's up and around well and I will be heading back home but in the meantime while I'm at my parents I have been busy the today my sister's at the hospital with my dad so I had gone through the garden and picked everything I could before I came down here knowing that I will be freezing a bunch of stuff because I don't want it to go bad um, and I'll give you a quick view of kind of where I'm at right now. All right, so what I did was I picked all the pole beans. These are pole beans that I had. They have been blanched. I'm drying them off because I'm going to freeze them. With I brought my little food saver with me. I also picked all of my peaches because they all come in within a week or so. And this is only a small portion of what I have left. In the refrigerator, I already have a tomato, cucumber, and peach salad. I took a bunch of peaches to the hospital for the uh, staff that's helping take care of my dad. And I have now queued some up. I'm going to make a corn and peach salsa. So this all came from my tree. The corn, I did cook a little bit. I only cooked it slightly because I like to have that little crispness. This came from one of my neighbors. I traded him some eggs and peaches for some corn. There's a green pepper. I had one little green pepper I was hoping to turn into a red pepper, but something started to eat it. So I picked it and I'm going to add that to my salsa as well. On top of that, I'm also making some regular salsa, you know, with tomatoes and stuff. I have some leftover tomatoes that aren't quite ripe and a few cucumbers. There's a chopped zucchini I'm probably going to use for dinner tonight, but to be honest, I may add some to my salsa because if you're freezing it, you don't have to worry about changing things and zucchini takes up the um, flavors of everything really well. And here is some of my tomatoes that I have left over from the salad that I made. Honestly, if I need more, I could take some out of my salad, but I'm just doing whatever I can to preserve some of this for the winter. Normally, I like to put this stuff into um, a muffin tin, a silicone muffin tin, so I can pop out my salsa because I'm the only one who eats it at home, but I don't have those here. So I bought some zipper bags. I'm just going to make them in that, and then I will uh, freeze them in my food saver later. But anyway, there's where I'm at, and I'll show you my peach salsa as I go along. And if I get a chance, I'll show you the other salsa, how I'm making it, just so you have an idea kind of what I have going on. All right, let me put together this peach salsa, peach and corn salsa really quick. Um, what I did was I have a lime here, and I did, forgot to tell you guys, I did go to the local farmer market. I picked up some limes, some jalapeno, an onion, and a sweet onion, because I just didn't bring them with me or have them with me. So anyway, take your lime and or lemons if you're going to use that, and hit it in your microwave for about 30 seconds. It will make it super easy to juice, and you get a lot more of that juice out. Now, if this was, if I had thought about it ahead of time, I probably would have zested it, but I forgot, and I didn't think about it. So anyway, to my peaches, I have about two cups, it was a little over two cups of chopped peaches in here, and I added the juice of half that lime. To that, I'm going to add four, it's a little over four cups of corn. I did uh, boil it for just about three minutes because I wanted it to have a little bit of tenderness to it. So I'm going to mix that together real quick. All right, to my corn, peaches, and lime juice, I'm going to add, now this was a really big onion, I added half uh, that's probably about a cup of onion, maybe just under, of a sweet red onion. This is one jalapeno that I chopped up in the little mini food processor. 
This is just about a quarter of that sweet pepper that I got. Now, normally these two peppers are not in this salsa if you wanted to follow the exact recipe, but I like to add a little bit to just add some color and some extra flavor. And this is a little bit of my red pep, my green pepper that I grew. I keep saying red pepper because I wanted it to be red. So I'm going to mix all of this in to this as well. Okay, now that that's all mixed up, normally you would add a good half cup of cilantro, but since cilantro makes everything taste like soap to me, I do not use any cilantro at all. The next thing I'm going to do is just add a little bit of salt, a, about a half to a quart, three quarters or so of salt. And normally the recipe calls for cumin, but I'm going to use this tajin, tajin, whatever, however you say it. This has some little bit of spice to it, a little bit of lemon, I mean, I keep saying lemon, lime, and it just adds a nice bright flavor to it. You don't have to add a lot. A little bit goes a long way. All right, I added some salt and some of this, mixed it up nice, tasted it, added a little bit more salt, a little bit more of this, and I love where it's at. Now this is not real spicy, you can add a lot more jalapeno or even hot peppers if you want, but I don't care for spicy. My stomach doesn't care for spicy. So now all I'm going to do is let this sit for an hour or two. Let all those flavors come together. I'm going to package it up and get it ready for the freezer. And that is my first salsa recipe. This is corn and peach salsa. This is fantastic on chicken. I like it on pork. And if you like fish, I bet you it would be delicious on fish. It doesn't, it's got taste to it, but it doesn't overpower it. Um, even like a, um, a Mexican style bowl, I think this would be delicious with chicken or something like that. But anyway, this is going to be one of my recipes that I use for my winter when I want something fresh from the garden. Okay, now this is just my standard, if you want to call it that, salsa, because it changes by what I have. Now, if I was canning this recipe, I would find a safe uh, canning recipe, like from the National Institutes on Home Canning Safety or the Ball Book. But this is frozen, so I have some leeway with it. In here, I have some that green pepper I had. There's the other half of that red onion that I chopped up. There is the yellow sweet pepper. And I forgot to tell you in the other one, I had garlic along with the chopped jalapenos that I put into the peach salsa as well. Um, you can leave garlic out if you don't like it. So what I'm going to do, because I'm going to cook this slightly, it's not being canned, I want the um, onions and peppers and stuff to be softened a little bit. So I'm just going to saute these for a few minutes just till they start to soften. And because I have that zucchini, I'm going to add that as well because it's my salsa and feel free to add things that you have. Salt, the zucchini, it's so mild in flavor, it's gonna take on these other flavors. So don't worry about adding something like that to your recipes. All right, my onions and peppers have released their juices. I decided to go ahead and I have some corn left over. I still have like four ears of corn. So I took two of them, cut them off the cobs. I'm going to add it to my salsa because I really like the flavor of corn and like I said this is nice because you can just make it however you like you don't like corn leave it out you don't like peppers you know if I had a red pepper I would really like to have a red pepper but I don't have one and neither did the farmers market that I picked up my the rest of my stuff but now that my corn is incorporated I'm going to add the zucchini because I want to cook out some of the liquid on that as well this is just one way I can keep adding fresh vegetables. I'm sorry about this, guys. I um, I don't have a tripod here at my parents' house, so I'm trying to hold this and cook at the same time, and it's kind of like walking and chewing gum. I don't do well with both of them. So I'm going to cook this down till the zucchini releases, releases some water, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my tomatoes and some of the tajin. I hope that's how you say it because I really like that flavor. And I'll come back and I'll show it to you when I get closer to being done. 
All right, my sauce is done. Now I did add, now I only had about a cup of tomatoes that I had peeled, chopped, and then I drained off the excess liquid. I added the zucchini, the corn, all those peppers, the onion. I added a bit of salt and the tajin um, seasoning. I really like how it tastes. Now I'm going to let this cool completely before I freeze it, and it'll just be another uh, flavor of salsa that I can use for the winter. It's not heavy on the tomatoes, but it's got some of that tomato taste to it. If I had a little bit of tomato paste, I could bump up the tomato, but I'm really happy with how this is. And again, if you're not canning it, you can add whatever you like to your salsas. Let your imagination go. Enjoy it. Freeze some for the winter so you could bring those tastes back from summer. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll put my basic recipes down below because, like I said, this one today I just kind of made up for this second one. And the other one is just a compilation of different recipes that I found. But it'll give you an idea where I started and maybe where you could start making yours as well. So sorry about the shaky video, and I'm glad to be back. You guys have a fantastic day.